channel mostly paper crafts in today's video i'm going to show you what i got from the new lawn fun release and i'm going to show you which other sets that i have that coordinate well with it and why i love lawn fun so much and then i'm also going to talk about why i didn't order everything that i wanted even though there was more um, in the release that appealed to me i had to take a look back at my own stash and see what do i already have what don't i need to replicate even though all the lawn fun stuff is great I do have a limited budget and also limited time to use my supplies. So I'll show you what I got, what it coordinates with, and why I didn't order everything. I just pulled everything out of my bubble mailer. And I'm going to start with the free things that were included. So Lawn Fawn always packages your goodies with their baker's twine and their colors. They like to include a free little sentiment with a nice little thank you note. And the free stamp set for this release is the Griffic Friend. This was free with a $60 purchase. Cute lion, leaf, butterfly, nice trail, nice sentiments. And they even threw in a few sheets of paper. So I really like ordering directly from Lawn Fun because they do always put in a few extra goodies for us. I ordered the Virtual Friends add-on. This is actually from the previous release, but I didn't make an order then, so this has just been sitting in my cart. I really like how this chair goes with the desk from uh, a couple of releases ago. I did get the Tiny Birthday Friends. I also have the Tiny Friends, and I ordered the die um, the coordinating dies to go with this. I don't always do that with my stamp sets anymore because I do have a scan and cut, but with these tiny little images, I think that the metal dies work better. This is also from the previous release, the Scoot and Bive, the cute little critters, and these scooters is just so darn cute, but it's been waiting in my cart for a couple of months. That's okay. This is actually an older set. It was available on the Ellen Hudson website a while back and I resisted it then, but I decided I didn't need to resist it anymore. We've got our cute little camping critters and they're gonna make some s'mores. This is my favorite stamp set from this new release. It's the Toucan Do It. So we have some cute jaguars, toucans, and my favorite is this tiny little lizard. Jared and I have a couple of bearded dragons and we really like lizards, so that's going to get a lot of use, but I really like the leaves and the butterflies in this too. Cinnamons are obviously adorable. I also ordered a couple of dies and a couple of stencils. So the build a campsite, I just, I love camping and all my friends love camping and I already have a ton of camping themed sets, but I really liked this die set. I'm sure I'm going to get some use out of this. And there were a couple of new backdrops. I have a bunch of the other Lawn Fawn backdrops. We really liked this Tropical Leaves one. I like that it has these little add-ons included here in the middle. I was a little hesitant because of how intricate it is. Sometimes it's annoying to cut out intricate dies like this, but just gonna hope for the best. Hope it's not too annoying. And I also got a couple of stencils. So I got the Mountain Stencil. I like it because you can make a whole line of mountains or you can do individual mountains. We've got the caps here. And then down at the bottom, this is actually the mask. So it makes it easy when you're ink blending your background around your mountains. And I also got the tropical leaf stencil. They had a few other stencils as well, but I like this one. You can do individual leaves with details on them. And of course you could mix and match them to make a background, even though this isn't the background stencil. Now, what I love about Lawn Fawn is not only is their stuff so cute, but everything coordinates really well together. So I got the Virtual Friends add-on, which is meant to coordinate with this set here. So the chair goes with the desk and then there's some stuff to put on the desk. But it also goes really well with this desk too. So we have this desk from a year or two ago with a typewriter. And then of course we've got this little mouse here and there are so many mouse sets. I didn't pull those all out, but I just wanted to show you some other sets that coordinate really well together. So with the scooter set, these characters um, go really well with butterfly kisses, with the bunnies from extra 
amazing Easter and with the critters and really high five. I mean, look how well these go together. It's the same type of illustration and you could easily mix and match all of these together. For the tiny friends, so I just picked up the birthday friends. Here's just the regular tiny friends. And then we also have the tiny fairy tale, which is all super cute together. These are all size the same. And then there's also the Christmas set and the Halloween set. I didn't pull those out. I also liked that in the um, birthday friends, there's the little pinata, which goes perfectly with the big pinata for the year seven set. So lots of things that coordinate there with the s'more the merrier. These characters match perfectly with the characters in Jump for Joy. So we have the hedgehog, the fox, and the owl. I mean, they, they match exactly. And then there's also more hedgehogs. This set, the Forest Feast, has another hedgehog, but we've got a raccoon and a squirrel that'll go really well too. And while we're on this camping and s'mores theme, we have this s'more set. These illustrations are a little bit different, but we do have this s'more here and another option for a fire. And then if you like this little s'more, there's also the bigger s'more with the arms and legs in the Sweet Friend set. When we're looking at the new Toucan Duet set, the line goes really well with this. And so we're in like a, a jungle sort of theme here. And we have, I like you more than naps. We've got a chameleon, so another lizard. We've got some jungle friends here. The leaves and the branches here would work really well with this set. We've got older jungle friends here. We have another jaguar that would look cute with the new ones and little snake and bird. And then of course we've got some monkeys. So this was another Ellen Hudson set um, that they re-released. So the cute little monkeys will go well with the jungle scene. And then of course that will go well with the stencil and with a tropical leaves backdrop. So the last set that I wanted to talk about here is the build a campsite. So basically any of the critters that Lawn Fawn has come out with will fit inside this tent. So that's awesome. I've got hundreds of critters to choose from. Maybe not hundreds, but lots of critters to choose from. They can go camping together. Um, a couple of examples they showed in a lot of their videos, the Den Sweet Den bears. But then there's a bunch of other bears too. These are from Snow Much Fun. We've got a fun little bear here in a critter concert. These guys would look cute around the fire too. We've got the dad and me bear, and then we've also got the moose and then the babies. And I also thought it would be fun to have a scene where the, there's the tent and then also there's a barbecue. So this is a, a much older set, Let's Barbecue, and I think these would look really, really cute together as well. So I did order a fair amount of things. I didn't order all of the coordinating dies because I own a scan and cut. And I also can fussy cut, so I don't really need the dies. And I like the dies. I have the dies for most of the sets that I have. I just recently started not purchasing them. Um, but I found that if I buy less die sets, I can buy more stamp sets and that makes me happier. So that's where I choose to spend my money now. I do still buy standalone dies and occasionally I'll buy the uh, coordinating dies when it makes sense too. But I really liked the leaves and I really liked the vines. So Lawn Fawn has these other new dies that are really cute. So I took a look at my stash to see what I already had. How convenient that I put all of my leaves and things on this panel inside my cabinet. And when I look through this, I can say, yeah, I probably don't need any more leaf dyes, especially because I do have some fancy ferns and monstera leaves and things like that. So I really didn't need to purchase those. Now as for the vine dies, which I really liked, I thought about this, my monthly hero kit that I had, and I thought I remembered it coming with some vines. Now these are not quite the same as the lawn fawn dies, but they are vine dies and they will serve the same purpose in my scenes. So I saved a little bit of money by not ordering the vines. The last thing that I really wanted but didn't order is basically the larger form of this. So this is for the shadow box, but they are now making a full A2 sized card cutout that has an arch and some trees in the front. And then the arch is stitched like 
this frame would be if I used that. And, um, and I really like it and I think I'll end up buying it eventually. But I do have these smaller windows and then I also pulled out all of my lawn fawn trees that I have already and there's a couple of non lawn fawn trees thrown in here as well. But I really don't need that dye yet so that'll get saved for another day. I'm excited to start making things with my new products and I'm sure I'll be creating a video using some of my new goodies soon. I hope this video gave you some inspiration about what you might want to purchase and then also about looking at your own stash and seeing what you already have, seeing what would coordinate well with it, and then also what things you might be able to skip, at least temporarily, because you already have something similar. I hope that you have a wonderful day and until next time, go make something beautiful.